Blessings, brothers and sisters. God bless you. Hear this word of the Lord to all my brothers and sisters who, all those who see this video who proclaim um, to follow Jesus Christ. This is a word that the Lord led me to um, to uh, proclaim in all the land. And I pray that it would go in all the earth, whether or not people see this video or not, but that it would go into the spirit in all the earth, that the word of the Lord be fulfilled, that the will of the Lord God Almighty be made manifest. But first, in agreement with you, brothers and sisters, if you're willing, if you worship the Lord, if you truly worship him and pray as our great God and Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMashiach taught us to, let us unite together in agreement and pray that Abba Father's will be made manifest. So in agreement with our brothers and sisters who see this video, Abba Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, Holy Spirit, Almighty Lord, God Almighty, who sits enthroned on the cherubs, we ascribe all glory, all praise, and all blessing, all thanksgiving, majesty, and honor be unto you. And we pray, Father, that your spirit, your kingdom, your Christ be loosed and be made manifest in all four corners of the earth as it is in the heavens. And we pray that your will, your desires, your intentions, your kingdom, your Christ, your will be made manifest in our lives, in your children's lives, in all the earth, in all the spirit, as it is in the heavens. And Lord, stretch out your mighty hand, we pray, Lord, and break down every wall, hindrance, every power of the enemy where he comes to lie, kill, steal, and destroy, that the enemy would not prevail in any way, shape, manner, form. In Jesus, Yeshua's mighty name, we pray in agreement together with all my brothers and sisters. Amen. So God bless you guys. Um, Before I get into the word, um, I just want to say, you guys, we are, at, we are in this time right now of um, what Jeremiah, what Daniel was talking about in the 70 uh, the the 70 weeks we are in this this period now and it's a very specific prophecy where it says where the word of the lord decrees and declares the word of the lord that spoke the world into existence the word of the lord that is everything as david said in the psalms it is even his word is exalted above his name um, the word of the lord gives us a set amount of time a specific amount of time and and that during in that time period that when it comes to a consummation when it comes to an end there's no there's no more time there's an opportunity a window that is closing for for everybody and we are coming into a time now you guys where in a few months in april 2024 we are going to have uh, the great solar american eclipse and um there's going to be a time, you guys, where the inhabitants of the earth, where people are, many are already sealed and where life for us and the whole world is going to change. And the Lord is going coming to gather a holy people. But before that happens, there is a great refining and purging of the things that are not of the Lord, that the peoples of God did not seek him with all their heart, mind, soul, spirit, and strength to be delivered from those things. It was not their desire, their will. Um, many things were too hard for them, but the Lord in his mercy, he's going to allow them to go through a time of great, it's going to be great suffering, you guys, but it's not to kill, it's to purge and refine. It's actually to bring life because in order to inherit, to receive God's blessing and the things he desires to lavish upon us, we must die. We must die to our world. We Or we must die, yeah, to our world. We must die to this world. We must die to our feelings. We must die to our emotions. And that takes a process, you guys. And but it is all possible with Christ. It's just that many brothers and sisters, um, they think that that it's not um, that that they have a misconception of um, of what must take place before this great gathering. So um, we are coming, um, you know, we are coming upon this time, you guys. Uh, the persecution 
the attacks and the tests and the trials are increasing. They're getting very heavy and they're going to continue to get heavier and glory to God. You guys praise God in them. Don't look at yourself as a victim. And that is my prayer that you would see these things, these persecutions, these attacks, these people that are in your lives that are even closest to you, that betray you, that do wicked and evil to you. Remember what you did to the Lord. Remember your own error, your own sins that you committed when you were um, not fully following the Lord. Remember that. Don't be a hypocrite. When you pray the Our Father and you pray, Father, forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, but you're not forgiving the people that sin against you. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a hypocrite. So, um, so this is, hear ye the word of the Lord, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Jeremiah 11. The word of the Lord, the, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, hear the words of the covenant or solemn pledge and speak to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Say to them, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, cursed is the man who does not heed the words of this covenant or solemn pledge. Brothers and sisters, those who reject the covenant of the Lord, the covenant in the body and the blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the only way to salvation, those who reject part taking of his 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 body and blood um the communion offered that is what grafts us into the covenant though whoever rejects the things that jesus christ taught us to follow his commands right um, um to to love your enemies to good do good to those who persecute you to um those who reject those things those people are cursed um so it said, which I commanded your fathers at the time I brought them out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace, saying, listen to my voice and do according to all that I commanded you. So you will be my people and I will be your God, that I may perform the oath which I swore to your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day. At this very day, that land is there flowing with milk and honey. And some of us are inheriting that spiritually already. Then I answered, Amen, so be it, O Lord. And the Lord said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. Hear the words of this covenant or solemn pledge and do them. For I earnestly protested to and warned your fathers at the time that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even to this day, protesting to and warning them persistently, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear to me, but everyone walked in the stubbornness of his own evil heart. Therefore, I brought upon them all the calamities threatened in the words of this covenant or solemn pledge, which I had commanded, but they did, did not do. And the Lord said to me, conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They have turned their backs to the iniquities of their forefathers who refused to hear my words. They have gone after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant or solemn pledge, which I made to their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I am bringing evil and calamity upon them, which they will not be able to escape. Though they cry to me, I will not listen to them. Then the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem will go and cry out to the gods whom they have offered incense, but they cannot save them at all in the time of their trouble. For as many as the number of your cities are your gods, O Judah, and as many as the number of the streets of Jerusalem are your altars, you have set up a shameful thing, even altars to burn incense to Baal. Therefore, do not pray for this people or lift up a cry of prayer for them, for I will not listen when they cry out to me in the time of their evil, evil trouble. So brothers and sisters, um, the peoples, um, as this was from the Holy Spirit, this is a word from the Lord, the uh, people have rejected the covenant. They've rejected the words of Jesus. Yes, they believe, maybe they practice many of the things, but these people who proclaim Jesus Christ have rejected the um, the fullness of his will and his gospel. And, and so the Lord is going to allow things to happen to people. And, and especially next year, you're going to see it too. You're going to see a lot of um, 
crazy things happening. And it's not to destroy, it's to bring believers to a point of humility because soon, brothers and sisters, the worst of the tribulation will happen soon and many people will die for their continual rejection, uh, the conviction of the Lord and the Holy Spirit and, and not obeying the entirety of the word of the Lord because he is coming for a holy people and those who are going to rule and reign as a line of kings and priests, they accept the they accept all of the words of Jesus and practice them and they are grafted into the covenant and the people that all of the peoples, the survivors that are going to go into the millennial reign are going to serve the Lord. They're going to worship him and accept him. So God bless you guys. I love you guys. Um, uh, Hanukkah, our feast of dedication is coming up, you guys. I'm going to do a video tomorrow, Lord willing, and a community post and explain um, what I'm going to be doing. And, and, um, and I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will guide each and every one of us into what we should do to prepare and celebrate and to intercede and, and for others who need prayer and to worship the Lord most mightily. In Jesus' name, God bless you guys. I love you all. God bless.